high system. And today we're going to replace the conductor out of this 21 year old Linux air conditioning unit. So I normally do travel vlogs. This is my first one with regards to home repair, but uh, my experience with this Linux unit made me want to do this. So when I fired up the, um, uh, the air conditioning for the first time this summer, I was getting Y1 issues with my Nest thermostat. It said a wiring connection was, was, was faulty. And it went on and off, it was very intermittent. So I finally called a uh, technician. I looked around for a few uh, companies to call in. One company wanted $110, one company wanted $29. So I, I went with a $29 uh, company. And um, Jeremy, the, the gentleman, the technician who came out here, great guy, can't, can't say enough about him. He spent about an hour and a half going upstairs in the attic, looking at my Nest thermostat, coming out here to this unit itself. And at the end of the day, he said, hey, you have a bad conductor here. Um, I was all, that was great. I'm glad that it was diagnosed. But he said he handed me an uh, estimate of the charges. It was $983. He, he showed it to me when this, this thing was off. And I said, gosh, I think I can do that myself. And Jeremy said, 80% um, of the people who want to do themselves actually come back to them to, uh, to get it done. But um, I do have an electrical engineering degree, so I do understand the power of electricity and how 240 volts can kill you. So uh, warning to anybody seeing this, 240 volts is, is a lot of, lot of voltage. Um, I looked online, there is absolutely no videos on what to do with a, a Y1 issue with the Nest thermostat and triggering it going right down to the conductor itself. So no YouTube help video, so this is the first time doing this, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, the conductor in here is a, a Linux, it's called First Choice, uh, Y4825. And when I went online looking for it, uh, I found a Linux store in Centennial. Uh, my wife and I went down there, I walked in, talked to a very nice lady, and um, they had the part there. But they said, hey, I can't sell it to you because you don't have an EPA license. I don't want to get... Uh, in trouble with the EPA, but this is an electrical part, and I don't know why they would uh, require an EPA license. So she said, you could probably buy it online. I looked online all over the place. I found one place that buys it, that I can buy it online. It wasn't on Amazon. And actually, the original Linux part is EOL'd. So I went online, I got a, the replacement Linux part, which um, is the 19J48. It says that it's a direct replacement from the EOL part. Not surprising, 21-year-old furnace uh, EOL part. So um, I paid $25 for this, $20 for shipping. So $45, $983 versus a $25 part. And that's, that's retail. That's retail. God knows what um, the, these uh, air conditioning companies are, are buying these parts for. So in, in, um, in addition to that, I went to Home Depot, I got a little voltmeter so I can measure, make sure the power is off because you don't want to have fresh power. And I also got this from Amazon, a little, a little uh, uh, sticker so you can put on the wires. There's about 10 wires in there, I want to say. So I want to make sure that the wires are all um, labeled so I don't put the new part back, it'll all be done. So first part, and I'm going to time this. So the timing is going to start as soon as I get up and turn off the power. And let's see what $983 actually, if it's that complicated. So I'm going to start the clock now. I'm going to turn off the power. Power's off, and let's do it. So here's the unit right here, right there. And let's check to make sure there's no power going to that unit.
read zero. So we're good to go. So here I go. I'm just going to mark the, uh, the labels A through O. So I'll, I'll do, I'll do alphabet because I always get worried that I won't get the sixes and the nines confused. So. Well, there it is. There is the conductor. It didn't take me that long to remove it. You can see all the different uh, uh, sockets where the pins go back are all labeled. So it should be pretty straightforward. This is the new one. A um, little smaller, but it basically looks like the same, same unit. So let's put that back. First good news is the holes match up perfect. So that's that's a solid sign. Now let's wire it up. Okay, it's all wired up. Um, let's try it out. Let's, I'm gonna turn on the power now, and then let's. Uh, I can turn on the air conditioning through my Nest app on my phone here. If, if it's not wired correctly, I assume a circuit breaker would would trigger. So let's power it up. Okay, the moment of truth. That was a ladybug that I just kind of inadvertently pushed off my phone. I hope that's not bad luck. Set to cool, 68.
and it's running. We'll turn it off. It's off. I can hear the click. And let's just clean this up. I don't want to stop the clock until I'm all finished. done. So I'm no expert, but why would the EPA require me to buy this electrical unit at a, uh, at, with a license? Why do I need a license? This is something you can get out of Home Depot or Lowe's. And secondly, $983 for what I just did. Um, you can look at the uh, lapse time at the bottom of the screen. I don't have it on my hand. I, I don't know what it is, but Gosh, that seems like a really overpriced way to do business. So um, anyway, um, hope you'll enjoy that. And um, it's really easy to do this, but just make sure that the power is off because 240, that can kill you. Um, but let's see, $25 for this, $20 for shipping. I did this two day shipping, $16 for this little, little thing. And I think I paid $6 on Amazon for this. So, gosh, that's, that's um, what, $68 versus $983 plus less than an hour of my time. Less than 30 minutes, really. I don't know. Anyway, take care. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look for my travel vlogs, uh, which is a lot more fun than this. Take care. Bye.